Hey, welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Rise of Roselhag. In the last episode, we had taken on some more missions and have been hunting down mercs. I spent a little bit of time looking around, and I cannot find the last two that we're looking for. They don't seem to be uh, anywhere on the map, so I don't know if that's because we haven't discovered them, or we're just not close enough, or I know they move around a lot, so it's possible the two that we're looking for just aren't there, but if you go into our stats here and look at our details, uh, we're looking for Linden's company and Thumpers, and I did not see their icon anywhere on the star map. I spent a good amount of time looking. So what we're gonna do, I guess, is just uh, wait to see if we see them. We'll go ahead and take on some more missions. I wanna do the one we talked about last time. Uh, it was a defense for Davian, Davian. Um, it's a 13 rep, so it's definitely pushing what we're capable of, but I don't think we'll have too hard of a time. So I want to go ahead and just jump right in and do that. But before we do, double check my mechs. Yeah, okay, so we were repairing everything before we left. I usually try to do that. Okay, so we can make a jump there. I'm thinking maybe we jump here first, check out the store, and then head over. Because I don't want to, I don't want to jump in without checking things out a little bit. We're also, uh, we're not draining our funds, but we're going through it a lot quicker than we were. So I might have to keep an eye on that. We want to kind of build back up again. I kind of liked having it at 200. Yep, we see this all the time. It's a good Mac, but I don't really need it. Uh, same thing with the rest of these. That's fine. Any equipment? Anything with, ooh, now that's not a bad weapon to have. Large short burst tier three. I'll buy that. And that's somewhat where our money's been going. Is I I find decent purchases and then I, I buy them and we don't make the money back because the missions aren't amazing. Okay, so this should be a decent one. Uh, the Waco Rangers are there, so we may have to fight them. I think last time they were on our side, but I can't swear to that. It's been many episodes since then. All right, so this is going to be a little bit rough. Yeah, 90. Oh, no, which one is it? Which one do we want to do? We want to do that one or do we want oh, we want to do the 90 raid? That's the actual quest mission. So I think I don't think that we'll run into the Waco Rangers, at least uh, not against them. The money is not high enough. I think if we did satcoms, it definitely would. And we're going to go for some more money this time. Although, what would it look like if we took all salvage? I'm just... Okay, so really we're not going to get much salvage. We can go ahead and take eight and then I'll take the rest as money. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's, it's a good balance. We're going to probably pick up a light mech or so. This is a defense and pretty big tonnage. Yeah, 400. So we're going to bring out the big guns this time. Let's see, I think we'll put the archer away... Uh, the Stalker might stay. We'll see. Um, I'm going to probably write the Night Star. Just because um, I like that mech. I don't think it's a 100. Okay, so we need to get... This is probably a mission to pick better pilots in. So like, we're going to put him in. And uh, what are you good with? You're good with everything except for Ballistic. So might be good to put in... Not the crab, but maybe one of the Atlases. See the D, there's a lot of lasers, missiles, AC-20. RS is probably not bad either with the LBX. And then the KR, I don't think I've done anything with that one, so that's something we definitely need to make a priority. Same thing with this one. We've got two mechs that we haven't done anything with, and then we've got this Battlemaster as well. So we're hauling around all this extra tonnage without actually fixing anything. And then we've got a King Crab. So we, we need to spend some time this episode doing some work on uh, upgrading things. I think we're gonna take that one. And I think we're gonna swap you out. Although this would be really good to get you up and running. I think we're still gonna switch you out. And I think I'm gonna give you the crab. Let's give you, we want the ballistic crab. Yeah, the UAC-5 one's good. Okay, that puts us at that. Do we wanna move the stalker out? I feel like it's a really good support mech. Um. I mean, what would we take if we didn't? I guess we could take another Atlas. What's the difference in tonnage, though? 
I mean, it's 15 tons. Let's see, you've got 541 armor versus uh, 624. I mean, that's a good amount. Do we go with that? Everybody's got missiles and a very good mix of weapons. Yeah, because you can use your LRMs and then you can use your LRMs and then you can use your SRMs. So, yeah, so the two, so the crab is really the, the up close brawler, although it's got UAC 5s. And then the other two have missiles and cannons. I think for this one, I mean, I guess it's the 395. I, I think we're good with that. I don't need to run a 100 tonner. Honestly, I'd probably do fine on the archer being able to pick things off quicker, but having the dual gauze is amazing. Um, I definitely want to get better pulse lasers, or at least for the one, but we're doing okay. All right, well, this is a 90, so let's start the, the episode off with a bang. Hopefully I don't live to regret this. Back when you were a kid, dreaming of taking part in the epic Curie to Davion conflict, I bet you never thought it would be like this. We've been tasked with destroying this system's water purification plant. Doing so will come at a significant economic cost to the Draconis Combine and will likely weaken their position in the war. So it's funny, it is a defense mission. Or like, we're talking about defense, but we're not actually Target defending anything. Ours. We're the attacker in this one. Target which is interesting. Alright, we do have VTOLs. We're going to... Are they already above us? Or is it just saying it's right there? Alright. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to let them have a chance to beat up on us. And, uh, yeah. The biggest thing we gotta watch is not attacking too quickly. The crab's gonna be aggressive, so we need to use it. Alright. Yeah, we want to kill the dragon. I don't know why I fired my lasers. There we go. Alright, so is that down? One down? Yeah, our team's very well armored. And they're pretty aggressive, so we're... We're taking things out relatively quickly. Oh... Uh, back up. All right. So, do we kill everything in <laughs> that we can see? Another vehicle. I had to get hit back inside that base. You guys got it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this. I think we're okay. A lot of little turrets. I'm not super worried about those. Couple tanks though. I got it. Looking good. So this is a good, a good set of mechs to kind of test out for the Rosalheg missions. We know they're going to get really hard at some point, so this is a good way to kind of gauge how strong we are at the beginning. The biggest issue with those missions is you can't repair, her. so we have to kind of be careful. Let's see, what do we got? Hit something. Okay, that was a quick draw. Gotta quit firing my laser, I'm out of range. Alright, taking a little bit of cockpit damage, which is never good. Is that... Is that from them, or... I mean, what's... Alright, he's down. Wow. Yeah, it was. Let's kill these. All right, kill him. Still out of range. All right, we're going to kill that. All right, everybody go after him. Ooh, I missed the panther. Uh, we do have a fleet of vehicles coming up on our rear. Oh. All right, come on. We gotta kill these vehicles. We don't have time to wait around. Yeah, especially you. All right, it's down. And... Can we kill that? 
Yeah, we knew that was probably going to happen. How are we doing as a team? Uh, we've all taken some damage, but not severe. The Treb's annoying. Alright, got him. Behind you. You got a guy behind you. Alright, got it. They're going to be launching over there. We could technically not fight them. Although they've already dropped... I missed. We got a mech coming to our rear, too. Alright, he's down. Stalker. Okay. Oh, what hit me? What was that? Was that the stalker hitting me? Okay, so... Come on. There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Everybody form up on me. Well, we definitely took some damage. I mean... We didn't get out of that without any damage. But, you know, for a 400 ton mission... 90 difficulty, I feel like we handled it pretty well. And no, I didn't cheese it with my archer with all the, the missiles. I know that makes the game easier, but hey, they put it in the game, why not use it? Yeah, kill. Alright, good. They got that last one. Uh, I didn't see any other salvage, so I think we're good. Of course. I don't know if I can get to it in time. I don't think so, but we'll try. Hey, it counted it. All right. Did my... I don't know who got stuck down there. I was missing a pilot. I think that went pretty smoothly. We didn't have too much trouble. Normally that kind of mission would give us a lot of trouble, but uh, we took care of it pretty good. Okay, what do we want to take? We have 27 points. We can take a Stalker, which is amazing. Uh, not that I want to use it, because I think it's just like what I've got, but I will... Uh, I'll probably sell it and take the money. Ooh, a Tier 4. I want that. I guess I should check to make sure there's no cantina stuff hanging around. You know, it's really tempting to get another laser, but or that large laser too. Stalker's worth more though, so we'll do we'll go with that. And I still have six of the large tier fours, but we gotta definitely start taking more of that. Okay, and how do we do? I took a lot of damage, all considered. I, I took some headshots that were not good. At least one. Uh, but, you know, really... We did an even amount of damage. That's very interesting. That rarely happens. And we all took some pretty pretty good damage. Several of our components were red, but, I mean... It is probably the hardest difficulty it's gonna be. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and accept this one. And let's see what... Where are we going? Is this one it? That's the next one. So we're going to jump back. Uh, let's try Paris or maybe Marduk. Do we need a cantina or are we maxed? We're maxed on cantinas. Although we're slowly getting through the VTOL ones. Okay, so let's just go... Let's just go to Paris. It's close. We'll go repair because it takes so much longer when you repair outside of the zone for assaults that I don't want to waste a lot of time waiting and paying for them to be repaired. I think everything was superficial, though. Um, like I said, I took a lot of damage. I didn't like that. Alright. Uh, yeah. Just a lot of armor damage. And we really didn't find anything real big. Okay, so we have a 3F. And that was a 3H. I want to say I have a 3H in here somewhere. Let's see. Under S, we have a 3F. And we have a... A misery. We don't have the H. Let's see. It holds one, two, three, four missile pods and one, two, three, four lasers. So it's kind of a missile boat. 
versus the one we're running, which is also basically a missile boat. So I don't really see the major distinction between the two. Uh, 541. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty close to the same exact mech. I don't know why there's two different versions of it. It could be where the lasers are mounted. I see that they're kind of high mounted versus this one. No? I mean, what's what's the difference? LRM, I mean, I've got it in a mix loadout, but what's what's the difference that makes this so different that it needs another, you know, a different model? My guess is it's probably got some quirks or something, because, uh, I mean, it's got basically the same weaponry. Now, I do have the ability to, to load large lasers in this one, and that maybe that's probably the difference. So I'm guessing this one probably has a little bit more cooling and a little less uh, range. So I think we're going to sell it. There's no really reason to keep it. Uh, you know, and two million's not bad. I mean, that'll pay for all of our expenses. So that's that's not horrible. Let's take a second before we take the next mission and try to see if we can upgrade one of these mechs that we've got. Because we've got an atlas that we're not doing anything with. And then we've got another king crab we're not doing anything with. And I want to kind of fix it while we're sitting here. So let's see what we got here. This is the gauze one. Is gauze the right weapon for you? The problem is I don't have a lot of ballistics for gauze. Like, as far as gauze is concerned. I could put in something else. Uh, let's see. There's a gauze rifle. Yeah, I've got... Eight tier ones, but I have three, three good tiers. I mean, that's, that's a tier five, but do I really want to go that? Or I could go with a heavy rifle. You know, we could do a heavy rifle and then you know give it a or an LBX. Either one. Ooh, now that's a tempting thing right there. That would hit probably. I mean, less range for sure. That's 15 tons and it does 15 damage. This is 11 tons and does 13. And the rate of fire is way higher than the gauze, I believe. I think you can fire twice. Let's see what, 35 versus, yeah, 10. So I think we toss that. Yes, it is one of the few mechs that have gauze capabilities, but think about where it's at and everything. I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, I've already got one mech with, with dual gauze. We probably don't need to run a bunch. And let's see, for missiles, I think the LRMs are fine. I don't know if 20 is necessary, but we'll, we'll see. We'll kind of build on this. Now, I haven't looked at any guides or anything. I'm just kind of building this off of how I feel. Uh, you know, an Artemis 4 version of the LRM-20 would be kind of nice. We do gain a little bit of extra tonnage from having that, because I think, yeah, we gain one extra ton. But... That's not bad. Ammo does need to be moved around quite a bit. And you know what? They've given so much ammo. You've only got one LRM. I mean, how many shots are you going to shoot? I don't think you're going to shoot through three full tons. I think that's a little ridiculous. So I think we'll move it, and then I'll probably take it off here in a minute. I'm just kind of moving stuff around. And really, all these single heat sinks don't need the gauze ammo anymore. Yeah, I'll go ahead and check that. We'll get rid of this, too. We're going to just drop a lot of stuff. Because uh, first things first, we want to go doubles. We want this to be nice and cool. At least in the center torso. I mean, if we lose the center torso, we lose the mech. So we're going to be in a little world of hurt if we do. Okay, so we're looking better. The extended range lasers are not really worth it, in my opinion. They do well, but they are hot and heavy. And it really doesn't give you that much of an advantage. I mean, if you look at max range, okay, 1,200 meters, or even a lower tier one, 1,000. Well, is that that much better than a standard large laser? A little. But we could barely see them from that range. I mean, I guess the AI would do okay with them, but I don't I don't see a reason to do it. Um, We're not doing pulse lasers, I'll tell you that. I think we'll just do standard larges, and we'll give you tier threes. Those are... Those are decent without being too expensive for me to lose. We're at a point now where, you know, we've got a decent amount of equipment, but not a lot of replacements. 
Okay, so now we need to put in the LBX ammo, and that is the only issue we're going to run into is because we do not have a lot of uh, space to put those. We've got plenty of storage, we just don't have a lot of slots. Um, and you know what, I'm, I'm going to drop this one. Well, do we want to drop that one? I don't know. Oh, we do need to put on Artemis anyway, so that... That makes sense anyway to do that. And are they heavier? No, they're the same. Okay, so... What? 80 shots? I mean, that's probably not bad, honestly. Um, we could put it in this other torso, or the head. And go with that. I mean, you've got so many other weapon systems. Is it really necessary for it to carry a ton of ammo? Probably not. Let's look at the mediums real quick. Eh, we could put pulses. I don't think we need to. We'll go. We'll just go standards. Another tier three. All right. So this is decent. We've got a lot of tonnage we can actually add. So what do we do? Do we just put a ton of heat sinks in? I feel like we're gonna end up doing that because we've got nothing else to fill it with. We've, we're max armor. I think I'm. Uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Well, no, I'm gonna take one point off and put it there. Yeah, we're we're max armor. We want. I'd love to put in more LBX. I mean, 880. Are we really gonna shoot that many? Although, really, with shooting 20 at a time, that's not that much ammo. Even if I went half ton, I mean, we don't gain anything from that, so I might as well leave it. We go small heat sinks or singles, I mean. Um, so we could put what two more in, and then take off a very slight amount of armor. Like, one there, maybe two points off that. So now we've got two large lasers, two medium lasers. Uh, we could put in a handheld weapon. I think, though, for this one, there's no point. The speed is only 48. We're definitely not quick. And I don't think we can put any other kind of equipment on this thing. Yeah, no, no mask or, you know, better engines or anything like that. So I think this is what we're going to go with. It's definitely going to be solid. Um, the missiles are going to do a ton of damage. And our heat is almost 3.0 for cooling. We're really close to that. And actually, if I give it any quirks, um, it will be at over 3. So let's start work on that. It's going to cost a ton. Um, not for this, but for the upgrades. Yeah, this is actually... That's funny. It, that's actually not going to cost us anything. What's going to cost us is now doing the upgrades. Also, we want to paint you. Um, or do we? You are a hero mech. I kind of like leaving the heroes alone. So that I can, I can, you know, tell the difference between them. I mean, we could do something like... Uh, can I copy you? I don't know. Is it possible to copy a hex code? curious if I can if I can do like this and paste it in let me try one more time I've never tried to do that actually I want to use this color otherwise I'm gonna to have to remember what it is off the top of my head and if I do have to do that I'll do it later and we'll do yeah oh yeah all right and I think it was a th a3 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 is that that sounds right to me. Ooh, that's cool. Kind of like that. And then what we want to do for the tertiary color. We could go... I kind of like 858585, but we could go... Oh, I picked the wrong one. Rats, I need to... I was still on that one. I didn't realize it. Okay, so we want to be on this one, right? Yeah, you gotta select it. Ah, that actually looks really cool. I mean, we could always go, like, you know, go red or something. Not that you can... Yeah, I think I kind of like the black look. I think that does look kind of sharp. We'll just do that. Makes it look pitted, kind of. Alright, so we'll apply that. That'll be our, our hero right there. He looks a little different than the others. Okay, so let's get back to upgrading real quick. 
I don't want to spend the whole episode upgrading mechs, so I'll probably spend the next couple episodes doing like one each episode. Or I can do them off camera if that's what people prefer. Let's see, uh, we, we're we going to start out with our usual, we want to go fast. I want this thing to be responsive because, uh, you know, 55 is so much better than 48. Uh, jump jets, we don't care about all that. Let's see, we're probably going to go with some armor. Uh, ballistics, I don't really need the extra range and velocity. I mean, we're already doing a solid slug. Is there a reason to give it more range and velocity? I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt. Um, and really cooling, we don't need a lot of cooling for once. So I might pick like one, one item that, that reduces heat. Uh, we just want overall heat capacity or dissipation either to be cooler, faster, or I think we just want more capacity. All right, so we want this guy to be able to slug it out with people. So I think we're going to go with more internal structure, more armor. Okay, now you're definitely beefed up in that regard. And we've got two points left to do. Uh, you know, cooldown, energy cooldown would be nice. How fast you can cycle through and shoot would be good. I don't think missiles really are that big of a deal. Although, extra warhead damage would be good. I don't really care about the speed on that. You know, overall 5% five, 5 damage would be nice. Just make us overall stronger. Instead of something specific, we can go, you know, more of that. Um, I don't want that. Do we want it to be more mo mobile? I mean, acceleration and deceleration would be nice. Anchor turn and torso is not such a big deal. We're too slow to really make a big impact on that. And sensor range is not really something I care about. So I'm thinking we just go more damage overall. Where was that at? It wasn't under heat. Was it? All right, let's go back up here. Yeah, ballistics. Overall weapon range. I thought there was one we saw that did just a little bit more damage in general. Yeah, just weapons damage in general. I think we'll do that. Okay, so we've actually boosted our stats quite a bit. Look at how much armor we got now. 638, so we added 30 points of armor. And another, not, no, what, 31 points of structure. And we boosted our overall damage by 6. Some more speed, more acceleration, and our heat capacity goes up 2.5 points or so. So that's really not bad. It's going to be expensive. 5 million. But it's worth it. You know, this is one of our in-game mechs. We're going to be using this for a while, hopefully. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so let's go do... Uh, do we do the upgrades? I think we did. Did I check the mech market? I don't remember if I did here, since we got here. Uh, what is that? It is one we need, so I'm going to buy it. We're getting really close on that one. I think we need one more. You know, it might be actually worth jumping around a little bit here since they had they had some of that. It'll also give us time to repair. Yeah, so this episode we're doing a little bit more of housekeeping. So it may not be the most exciting episode in the world, but, uh, you know, it's stuff that's got to be done. Oh, now that was something we needed to do. We needed to collect one of these, so I'm just going to outright buy it. Um... It's not super expensive, but we needed it for a cantina. And honestly, I have not been finding them. All right, anything good here? Oh. No, I don't think so. Nothing high level, at least. All right, do we want to jump one more time? In fact, I think I want to jump to Marduk. Because I'm going to take another cantina after I turn the one we've got in. All right, check the market again. All right, anything good? I don't think so. No, nothing good. All right, and nothing in the mech market, I imagine, now. Okay, so I want to look at my cantina. We want to turn you in. So, pretty even trade. I think we paid, was it three million or five? I think it was three million for the mech, and we're going to get five. So we actually made money. Plus, we got a heavy rifle, a tier five one, and 40 rep. 
career rep and then 300 reputation. So what's the difference? Oh, this is reputation for the, the Merc company. And this is career. Okay. So yeah, we're good with that. You can have that, Treb. Now we'll go ahead and claim it. And oh, we're so close to 10. We got probably one more we gotta do. Okay, and Mech Hunter, we can kill a Zeus. Whichever time I've taken something like that, I end up not seeing it. Um, collect 10 Flamer Tier 3s. You know, I don't see Flamer units. Like, ever. However, Machine Guns we do. We get those as bonuses from different things. I don't know if I have enough, but for now we'll take this one. And that should finish us off if we do have them. I don't think we... We do have five. Okay, so really any of these collect ones will finish off that that quest line. All right, and... Oh, hey. I want to reach out because I will be in need of your services. Very important task. Okay, so do we have to do that now? Because if we don't have to do it right this second, I'm going to wait and go ahead and do the mission we were planning for. And then do that afterward. Because we got to go back here? Yeah. I don't know what accepting that does. Maybe... It says current objectives, future needs. But we're not taking an actual contract. We'll accept it. But we're not going to go... We're not going to go do it yet. So I want to switch back what we're working on. We're working on part two of that one. Yeah. Okay, so we should be here. And this is a 90 difficulty assassination mission. So we'll be taking out the big boys again. And we're going to, we're not, I don't think, nope, we're not gonna have to deal with the Waco Rangers. I don't know if that's intentional, but look at the pay difference. 2.6 million versus 10. So obviously they're gonna show up in that one. And with it being so high, we're going to fight against them if we took it. So uh, we'll, we'll avoid that. I want to do the quest anyway. And we're getting a bonus here. So I want to take a lot of shares and salvage. Do we want money? We do want money. I think that'll work. That's almost 3 million sea bills uh, and a ton of shares. So if nothing else, we pick up weapons or other things. That's fine. We did spend a pretty good chunk on the Atlas. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Uh, but it's a blizzard, so better than, you know, volcano or other hot weather. So I'm, I'm cool with it. We can do this. Um, I think it said assassination, right? Wasn't that what kind of mission this one was? Okay, let's launch. And the plan is we'll do this one probably finish off the episode unless this one goes really quick and then we will plan to start looking at the Rosal Hog missions next time since I think they're coming up time to get our hands dirty your target is Ty Sar Richard Sato a nasty fellow he's as revered by his subordinates as he is feared by his foes prepare for him to be well protected okay well, I feel pretty good. I've got two atlases in my back and a king crab to my side, so we should be okay for this. Assassination missions can go hairy, though, very quickly because they they drop usually some pretty big mechs to fight, and uh, sometimes they get support. You know, they drop in more when you're not ready, or vehicles even, so hopefully we uh, can get through this one without any trouble. Typically, they're not too big of a threat, but you just never know what you're going to get. If we if we have to go up against a bunch of atlases, that's going to be a problem. And I don't think we can go over there. I think we're going to have to go... Do we want to go around? Let's look at the map. Oops. All right, so we're going there. So, okay, we can, we can go forward and then swing to our... Was that our left... I don't use the map too awful much in this game. Scrap that one. 
You can, I gotta love the turrets that scratch your paint as you're coming into the mission. Okay, so yeah, we're going to duck over here in just a second after we pass this ridge. And then... I hear VTOLs in the distance. Let's... Let's slow down. Where are they at? You say that? There they are. Ooh, nice kill. Alright, we got our first mech. As I say, it's a dead cicada. Alright, do we have anything over here? Another mech. Dead spider. Squish it. Gotta love double gauze when it just absolutely shreds a light mech. I don't even think I went for the head. I think that was a chest shot. Okay, so we're going to go straight in between these two mountains. I think... Oh, okay. Well, never mind. That's fine. So which one do we want to go after? I like to do them in order, kind of. This one's closer. Let's look at the grid again. Yeah, I think we'll... We'll go this way, maybe go straight and then turn right and then we'll still be in line to do the other one too it's interesting I'm gonna wait a second for my Atlas who's in the back I believe yeah he's I think you all have the speed tweak but he's definitely uh, bringing up the rear okay I think are you close enough now yeah I think you're good now Let's do this. Well, if all they're going to throw is mediums, uh, we've got this easy. I have a feeling they're not, though. They'll probably be at least one or two assaults and a bunch of heavies. Nice. What are you saying? That How is that a big one? That's a Jenner. There it goes. That was a little delayed. Nice. And Bauer's getting some good experience, too. I think ballistics was what she needed to work on. I can't swear to that, but... It's interesting how far away you are when they're able to scan things in some missions. and other missions, you have to, like, go right up on it. So I guess we're going to go after this one. I'm going to look at my map again. We do have a mech. Hope that wasn't the big one you were talking about. The blackjack's not really a problem. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. It's hoping to thread between it. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to bust through the wall. No. Uh, excellent lucky shot. Oh, it wasn't luck, man. That's how we do. We can salvage that later. I'll let someone else get the turret. Target is done. Well, I'm excited to get back to the Rosalheg missions. It seems like it took forever, and I think it really did. I mean, it took probably 20 episodes or more to get kind of back to playing those. I think we stopped after episode 7 or 8 and restarted the playthrough, kind of. Um, I had thought about splitting it out into its own, you know, playthrough series, but I thought, no, we're still doing the same things. So, I didn't want to do that. A charger is not a big deal. In fact, with all of our missiles, you may not even make it to see me. Of course. Well, the nice thing is we are thinning them out pretty good. Just gonna hang here. And I haven't been really using my PPC at all. Because the missiles are just grinding him up. Alright, got another one. What are you? Light tank? Gone? Yeah, my biggest concern is just running into something random. 
All right, so we're gonna go straight, hang a right. I'm gonna go over here. Is there any salvage? We're, we should be pretty close to pick it up if there is some. And if nothing else, this gives my team extra practice as we uh, clear out artillery, or not artillery, but uh, you know turrets. Yeah, I'm thankful there's no artillery in this one. This would be, uh, I think it'd be kind of rough with all the terrain that you have to go around. All right, well, we know the enemies are here, so we are going to slow down as we get close. I hate when we have to move up a hill instead of down it. I like having the high ground. All right, let's, uh, VTOL's coming. Or they're hiding right over the, the horizon here. We just can't see him. But if I get too close, it's gonna immediately trigger things. Uh, let's everybody come up here. Yeah, get up here. All right, we're sending in the squad. Because I'm really actually backline support. I shouldn't be charging in. All right, Highlander. Yeah, we want to kill him. And I hear a VTOL coming. I don't know where it is. There it is. Good, got it. Got him. And a Warhammer. Which is not a Battle Master. I got excited for a second. Because we're trying... Ooh, I, I think I headshotted him just then. And... Oh, hello. Okay, we, we got to take care of this guy right now. I... I did. Oh, our uh, Atlas is taking some damage. Ooh, rock 'em sock 'em. Did you see that headshot? Yep, we're unfortunately we can't do anything. Because they're dropping right next to us. Yeah, their friends already arrived. However, their friends are not a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. As long as we take some heat off of the Atlas. Nicely done, guys. All right. Well, the uh, the Atlas RS definitely took a lot of damage, but it went toe to toe with another Atlas. Punched it in the face and survived, so I cannot fault them at all. And that was not even an experienced pilot. It was Amos, and I think they are... They're one of our newer pilots, so good job to him. He took it like a champ. It gave me time to be able to line up my shots and headshot, because I think I headshotted... four mechs in that mission? Maybe three? But it definitely helped killing him quickly, so I'm all for that. It's too, mad, too bad they don't have like a level up system where they get promotions, like where you could promote certain pilots. And you could only do it so often. Now there, that is a shame right there. You know, we took 41 salvage. I, I think I could have taken three more points or two more points, so we still would have come up short. It's because I headshotted him. If I had beat him up more, we would have been able to take that. Same with this one. That's really unfortunate. But we can take a Highlander which we don't have this particular one, or we could take a uh, charger. I don't really care for the charger just because of the weapon, so I think we'll take the Highlander. We still have 16 points. They had some good weapons too. So I'm gonna take these uh, large lasers. We always need those. Anything else? I was hoping for a tier three machine guns or something. There's twos. We'll find them. I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so we've got 10 points left. Um, should I take the AC-20? I've got three of them. 
and AC2s aren't bad. There's a tier fours. You don't see tier fours that much. I think maybe I'll take those. And then I could take the LRM15 and we'll finish it off with, I mean, those mediums are really good too. You know, instead of these, I think I want the mediums. Tier fours are hard to pass up. We use those a lot. Then we get one point to spend on something. Probably that, although we've got so many. That's fine. Yeah, that'll work. So that's a pretty good haul. Look at all those mechs we could have taken. Uh, I'm curious to see how many headshots I had. So we know we headshotted him. I got him right in the cockpit. That was a, that was a lucky shot. I wasn't really aiming for that. That one I was. Uh, okay, so you you record out, you record out. Same with you. Okay, okay. There's one of the other headshots. That's three. That was another core, and then that one, I, yeah, I obliterated. And there was probably more mechs to that, too. Uh, seven million haul. That's pretty good. Especially if we sell it. Because uh, I didn't do that much damage. I mean, we're not pumping out the damage. They're big mechs, so... Oh, and Amos is injured, and we lost an arm. Ah, that kind of stinks. Okay, but we maxed out Bauer. Bauer finally got that last point. So she's at 59... All right, and Amos did some good work. They're almost maxed. They've got, what, five more points? And you didn't do anything because you, you're not in a mech that you need. That's so weird. I guess because of how slow you were, you really didn't do much. Normally the D is the one that gets in there, but I let the crab do it instead. Honestly, though, look at how good our damage was. Other than the Atlas, which took all of the damage, we barely did anything as far as damage. So... That's not going to cost us too much. Having a injured pilot stinks. And we finished his quest line, so that's great. So I think on the next thing is we're ready to do this one. Yeah, because we're going to... Yeah, we got to go do that one. I don't know if there's a time crunch for that one, like unlike the, uh, the starter mission. So we might be able to make our way back there slowly. Uh, let's jump real quick out of this zone. We want to not, we don't want to be attacked or anything. And let's try here. I don't think we've, have we been there? We've been to almost everywhere here on this little trade area. Let's go get our, our mechs fixed up. Um, we'll get our pilot back probably before the next mission. Okay, so fix the paint. Yeah, we barely took any damage at all. This one, this one took some damage. That one took none. I can't believe that. And this guy is still being worked on. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit difference in the paint scheme. I actually like this one a little better. Okay, so what do we got to do with you? Okay, well, being able to fix heat sinks is amazing. And all he lost was an arm. Almost lost that side. Everything, everything just took a lot of damage. But being able to repair the heat sinks makes me happy because we don't really want to lose those if we can help it. Okay. And 195,000 is nothing. That is cheap. I thought it was going to cost us a couple million. Um, now this one can still be upgraded with some better weapons, but we're we're good for now. Yeah, they're just going to have to repair those too. That's great. So basically, we lost a large laser, which we'd picked up some new ones. Um, now that is a question of what we want to do. I don't think we need that one. No, we don't. So do we want to sell this one or keep it? It's a 90 tonner. And I've had Highlanders in the past, but I've had a lot of trouble playing as them. Yeah, I've got this one. What's the difference? Let's see, we've got... Two missiles, two lasers, one ballistic versus this one. Let's go look at the loadout on it real quick. Uh, let's see, missiles, lasers, another missile. It's pretty close to the same mech. There's not that much of a difference. And I mean, it, it puts its big ballistic in the right arm, which is cool, but you lose that arm, you lose most of your firepower. I mean, this has just got a couple missiles. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of this one. It's uh, It's cool, but I don't know. I think I'd rather the money. Although, two million is not very much. 
Maybe we'll just keep it. We could always sell it later. It would cost us so much more to buy it if we if we did buy it. So I don't I don't want to get rid of it for that price. Uh, there's the loop de Grog in. Nope. Still don't want to pay your uh, 14 million. It's not that good. Yes, it has AMS. It's like one of the only mechs in the game with AMS. And it has a Beagle Active Probe, which is wonderful. And I guess for a mission where I needed light tonnage and I could sneak in and out, it might be kind of good. But it's not that fast. Well, I mean, well, it does 105. Yeah, I don't know. For now, for now we wait. But, I don't know, maybe eventually. And equipment, I don't think there's probably anything here, but we should do our due diligence and check. Yeah, we're nothing there that's highlighted. So, okay. So we got everybody repaired. I think next time we will plan to take on uh, that next quest line from Roselhaig. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.